In this tutorial, I will explain what you need to prepare and do before you get starting on the analysis and use the different simulation functionalities inside Vasari. Some of the simulation uses weather data and specific location, therefore it is necessary to specify the location. And the location you can specify by going to analyze and click on location. In this dialog box you can type in your location or project address. As example we could try to search on Copenhagen and press search. By searching on Copenhagen I'll get 8 weather stations that is close to Copenhagen. Let's say I had a location here. I will move the project icon that is this red one with the small house and then I can drag it to the right position. And if I want to choose a weather station that is closer than this default chosen one, I just select the weather station and then this weather station is active and for the simulation it will use the data from this place. It is also possible from here to import an aerial photo as an underlay for the modeling or just for a, a visual underlay. When you have specified both the closest weather station and exact location, you press OK. And then you will see the location you have chosen here just underneath the view cube. From here I actually can also change the location by clicking on the name and set location. Then you will come to the same place as I just show. After you have specified the location you should also check if the direction of the north is correct. Let's take a top view and look at how the, the north direction is by clicking on the view cube can see in this uh, project the, the north is rotated. The reason for this is that it is easier to model your geometry parallel to the x and y axis of the drawing window. Therefore it is easier to rotate the true north instead of rotating the whole model. So there is a project north and a true north. So to show you how to edit the true north, you should go to the visibility and graphic overrides or the shortcut that is 2 times V on the keyboard. In here you can filter the list to see the different objects. If you have selected architecture and Vasari you should see those objects that is necessary on the side and the sub menu of site there is something called project base point and this should be marked and OK. And then you will see this blue thing. And if you select it, you can see here angle to truth north is rotated 15 degrees. So to change it to zero, I click on the angle number and we will see the north is rotating. And again, press on the number and change this to 15 if the project is rotated differently than the axis of the drawing window. And then after you should turn this off again so you don't mess it up by going to the visibility overrides again by pressing VV and side and just turn it off and press OK. A next tip that is creating view specific views that related to the four seasons. This uh, example I have already created the summer, but if I right click on it, I can duplicate the view and it will create a copy that I can rename by right clicking on the name. This one I could call the winter instead. Now I want to change the season and time on here, but that I go to the sun just here. In this example, I'll just turn on the sun path so we can see what is happening when I change the season and time. And click on the icon again and go to sun settings. Right now it's just something default. I want to have it in winter. And there is always default created these four seasons and a fifth setting that is called one day solar study. And you shouldn't change the dates for these four seasons, but you should change the time because I recommend to look at same time steps either if it's a winter, spring, fall and summer conditions. So just in this example I want to look at the shadows between 9 and 18 based on 
the climate and context analysis as well as the function of the external spaces. For this view I select the winter condition and press OK. And then you will see the sun path is changed, so it's a very low. Go to our left view, here we can see the path of the sun. And this I just do for, for the four of the seasons, so we don't have to specify each time the season for the different analysis. And this works for the simple shadow pattern, sun path, and the solar radiation analysis. It doesn't matter for the wind tunnel simulation. You may be also want to look at it uh, from the top and not only from the perspective view or asymmetric views in this case. For this you could uh, do the same as for the asymmetric views where I have just copied and created views with specific season. I will copy site four times. As I showed with the isometric views I turned on the sun path just to to illustrate that I'm choosing different seasons and then after I specify the exact season I want to use go to single day and select fall that this view is and I will do that for the three other views as well so I have all this prepared when I go into the next process of simulating these different uh, conditions the last useful tip is that you should have a bottom surface or bottom ground for your buildings, especially when you want to use the wind tunnel simulation, or else the wind can blow underneath the buildings and that will create inaccurate results. For the solar radiation, you also would like to simulate the solar radiation on, a, on the ground level.